Hey folks, Ryan Walker, Ozark Smallmouth Alliance, and uh, we're back with another series of OSA 101 Smallmouth Fly Tying. Glad you could join us this week. It is absolutely one of my most favorite flies to fish and to tie the shuttlecock. Uh, this thing is a killer on our Ozarks rivers and, and uh, streams this time of year from now till uh, high water season's over. Um, fish it on an intermediate or a, or a, a, a slow sinking sink tip thing looks just like a glide bait going through the water. It's got a ton of action. It's got a ton of fish catching qualities um, and uh, it's a lot of fun uh, to tie as well. So uh, thanks for joining us. Here we go. All right, so we're going to run through a real quick materials list. Um, so bucktail is uh, several components on the fly. And I'll do, I did this fly in all white. You can tie it in several different colors. Um, you need some really good either schlopping or saddle hackle um, for, uh, for the wings. Crystal chenille uh, for the, the body. The ubiquitous flash in your choice of colors to match the fly. And um, the living eyes too as well. Uh, these are 7 millimeter. Uh, in the wind series, there's the earth, wind, and fire in these. I'm using these in the wind series. Um, and then you can either make your own or you can buy the commercial uh, EP brushes. Uh, and, and these are uh, the EP Foxy brush. They're the wide ones. Um, I'm tying these on a on ones and twos, one aughts, ones and two hooks. So I use that wider EP brush. Um, and everything is done on the uh, old ubiquitous... Uh, Gamagatsu B10S, crazy fun hook to tie on, white big fly, and the secret ingredient, tulip glitter t-shirt paint, gotta have it, fun to tie with. Alright, that's our materials list, let's get this thing going. Alright, so I'm just going to walk you through real quick the, the steps to the fly before I start tying it. I'm going to tie it, I'm going to speed the video up so it's not 47,000 minutes long. And uh, we'll slow down at the important parts, um, but uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the fly at the end as well. Basically, flash coming off the back, bucktail pointed backwards, just like you would on any other tail, two saddle hackles, more flash, more bucktail pointed backwards again, two more saddle hackles. Then we're going to palmer the uh, crystal chenille forward and... Uh, you can see where I've stopped the thread. That's where I want my next section of bucktail. This time the, the third section of bucktail is going to be tied forward so that we can fold it back hollow style. Um, and then we are going to attach our EP uh, fiber brush, palmering it and folding it back much like we would a, a soft tackle on a soft tackle fly. Tie that all down, bind it up, paint the head with t-shirt paint, put on the eyes, let it dry, then fish it. So here we go. Okay, so now we're to the point where we're going to um, do the hollow tie, hollow fly style on the uh, on the bucktail for the front. Um, and this is not at all tricky. It's just a couple of things you want to try to attempt first. First off, don't get too much bucktail, because we do kind of want the EP fibers to lay down. And I ripped off a little too much there right, so trim that up even everything up this is actually not very difficult at all I'm probably making it more difficult than it should be there we go now we're going to spin that and get it around the hook So, 
I don't ever worry about trimming that junk off. It's hidden. We'll lay it down. You're going to take your handy dandy big pin, empty pin holder tool. Poke that all back. Get a hold of it. Pop your thread through. Dam it up. Now it's time for the EP fibers. So I always have a pair of side cutters to cut that wire or borrow your buddy's scissors. Use his. Here we go. Take our toothbrush tool, brush out all those EP fibers, get them back. And now, time for a paint job. All right, time for eyes now. Finishing touches on this one. We're gonna take the Living Eyes. Again, these are seven millimeter in the uh, in the Wind series from the Living Eyes guys from Fisco. Um, and I take a brush, zap a gap, hit it where I want the eye. My eye off there. Alright, so my kind of my final touch on this one, um, when that zap a gap and the eyes dry on there, I will come back in and coat that one more time with, uh, uh, I'll get some more t-shirt paint in to fill those gaps in and then just let it dry one more time. You tie half a dozen of these in an evening, take your finishing steps, by the next morning uh, they're ready to go. Alright, there we go, couple of finished products ready for the stream tomorrow love tying this fly love fishing this fly it is absolutely killer this time of year fished on uh on an intermediate uh sink tip line and uh looks just like a fluke for all you gear guys it looks just like a fluke going through the water when it's worked right um they really catch a lot of fish the shuttlecock folks we sure hope you enjoy these videos. We sure love bringing them to you. Um, we love everything that you do for us. Our mission is not complete without your help. Free the fighter.